What is up guys, back again with another video, and just like the intro said, this is Pure Nexus. I have been running it for about 2-3 to three weeks now, so without further ado, let's go ahead and do a review on it. Alrighty guys, if you guys are looking for a stock ROM, Pure Nexus would be your choice. It is uh, pretty much stock, it does have a little customization here and there, so without further ado, let's go ahead and see what it has to offer. Go into lock screen settings, you can see you have lock screen shortcuts. You can go ahead and change those from here, I don't really mess with that. Um, I like to leave them the same. Under that, you have lock screen items here, you're able to change the lock screen clock, lock screen clock font, lock screen date, so on and so forth. Which um, I do like, I did change the font actually from here, which uh, I made it just a little bit thinner. Under that, you have a uh, lock screen torch, which I do like. You can go ahead and uh, press the, the power button while your screen is locked and it will go ahead and turn on as you guys can see here. And then to turn it off you just simply press the, the power button again and it should turn off. Or you can actually go into your notification drawer and turn it off there. You can also uh, double tap to sleep anywhere from the lock screen which is cool it's a neat little feature. Um, I don't really use it much I don't really see why you would need that but it's there if you guys want to mess with it. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and disable that since I don't really use it. And as we scroll down, you can see there's a little bit more settings. And um, you're also able to even uh, change your lock screen wallpaper, which is cool. Um, most custom ROMs already do this, but on stock, you're not able to do this. So this is why um, I do prefer custom ROMs over stock ROMs. So yeah, we'll go ahead and back out of there. The next category on the list is the notification drawer. I do uh, like customizing my notification drawer to my liking. Um, I do have the fast pull down enabled so I can get to my toggles faster without actually looking at all my notifications. I also do have um, I also do have all my toggles in one row. I don't really like having so many toggles, you know, having it take up the whole page. I just like having the toggles that I really need in one row, as you guys can see here. So we'll go ahead and uh, back out of there. And we'll go ahead and look into the recent app category. Now on a stock ROM you do have to exit every app manually. Which is kind of a pain and it's kind of a bummer. I'm not too sure why they do this. But on a custom ROM you're able to have a clear all button. As you guys can see there it's on the bottom. And um, you can go ahead and move it wherever you like. And now I moved it to the top as you guys can see. You can also enable a uh, slim recent. And what it does is it just basically slims down your multitasking as you guys can see there it's on the on the right side now but um i usually like leaving the stock multitasking which i do like category on the list would be the status bar here you can change basically everything up until your battery setting so we'll go ahead and hop into the battery you guys can see there i can change the battery i made it into a circle but i like leaving it at the percentage to see how much i have left you can even add a, a battery bar as you guys can see there i put it on the top but i'm gonna go ahead and disable it since i don't really like it you are also able to change, you know, the carrier label, clock and date, uh, network traffic, and so on and so forth, which is cool. I do like, so we'll go ahead and back out of here and go to the next one. The next one would be the navigation bar. Here you can even um, enable it or disable it, which I don't know why you would disable it if you don't have any um, capacitor buttons, but um, I kind of need that to get around the phone. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and uh, enable it. You can even change the order of the buttons with the button and layout option or you can even make the navigation bar smaller or bigger. So we'll go ahead and hop into the buttons and layout as you guys can see here. I usually like leaving them the same. I do like the order that they're in so I don't need to really change them. Under that you have the nav dimensions here. You're able to uh, set how big or how thin the actual nav bar is. I like leaving it thin since it does give me more screen to work with. We'll go ahead and go into the, uh, the power menu. And as you guys can see here, these are the, pan the power menu options that I do have. I don't like having a ton of them because then it does clutter the power menu. But um, you're able to uh, toggle basically a ton of them, as you guys can see here. I mean, this is pretty ridiculous to have this many toggles in your power menu. But um, yeah, you can, you can basically have all your toggles in your power menu. But I like leaving it um, just to the ones that I really need, as you guys can... Uh, can see here we'll go ahead and hop into the display setting and you guys can see 
I didn't know this before, but the Nexus 6P does have a notification light. It's up there on the left side, which is cool. Um, I found that out with this realm actually. So these are the different um, notification lights that I do have enabled. So you guys can see here, if you guys were wondering. But um, yeah, this this was new to me, so I didn't know until I actually, you know, until I actually uh, installed this ROM, which is cool. It's a nice feature that I do like, and I do use quite a bit. I am also running a uh, custom kernel. I believe it's called the Elemental X kernel. I did overclock it. I believe it's at 1.7, but um, these are my stats on this kernel. And um, yeah, this was an overview of Pure Nexus. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.